So when you see any object as 100% beautiful from its own side, then you get obsessed with it. When you get obsessed with it, what is the problem? When you get obsessed with it, you get stuck there. When you get stuck there, how can you get freedom? So the two negative bosses are self-cherishing attitude and ignorance. Ignorance means not just lack of knowledge but misconception of reality. Reality is that everything is interdependent, interconnected. There is nothing that has nothing whatsoever. Forest, tree, house, man, women, God, whatever. There is nothing that has independent existence. Everything has a dependent existence. Right? But our ordinary, uninformed, stupid, ignorant mind, we tend to see things as having inherent independent existence. That's how we get into problem. Especially when you like something, a car or a man or a woman or whatever. If you like, you, if you fancy something, so wow, so handsome, wow, so beautiful, existing from its own side. I must have this car, I must have this laptop or whatever. I must have it. So you, at that point, you tend to see that object as having inherent independent existence. You don't see any fault there. That is against the truth, that is against the reality, because reality, in ordinary samsaric life, there's nothing that has no fault. So when you see any object as 100%, beautiful from its own side, then you get obsessed with it. When you get obsessed with it, what is the problem? When you get obsessed with it, you get stuck there. When you get stuck there, how can you get freedom? What you wanted was long-lasting peace and happiness, which means you wanted complete freedom. Similarly, when you don't like somebody, like your enemy, then you don't only see that enemy as somebody negative, but you tend to see that enemy as 100% horrible, 100% negative, impossible to have any negotiation, impossible to have any dialogue, outright negative. The only thing you wish is eliminate, because impossible to, to talk with that person have dialogue with that person, because you, you are seeing that person as embodiment of everything that is bad, but which is again not true, because this even the so-called enemy has his own friends, his admirers, who say that he's a very good man, <laughs> you see? So there are good aspects, bad aspects. Everything is component of many things. One side, very bad. One side, very good, you see? relative, right? Second boss is called self-cherishing attitude. Rang Jin Zi, self-cherishing attitude. Self, not to have self-cherishing attitude does not mean that you should not take care of yourself. Of course you should take care of yourself. But self-cherishing attitude means thinking just oneself alone and completely ignoring the well-being of others. 
here when I use the word self-cherishing attitude, I'm not just talking about like taking care of yourself, but I'm talking about a negative emotion. So these two very negative swan enemies are resting not only have they captured our mind, but they are resting peacefully, drinking tea and coffee and relaxing. Because nobody is challenging. Because we have this very funny tendency to, of seeing, you know, even the negative emotions. If it is your negative emotion, then it should be good. It should be justified. We have this tendency. So therefore, you take it as a natural thing, you know. And many scientists also, they say, they, they hardly talk about negative emotion. They say emotion means emotion, you know. There's nothing negative, positive. All emotions are useful. Of course, we need to, we cannot so lightly ignore their, you know, claim or their finding. We need to think, right? But still in Buddhism, you know, they, this, this, these are identified as negative, destructive emotions. So the core element is that the, the main enemies that you should fight, and defeat and eradicate, banish from your head is ignorance self-cherishing attitude. Now the counter force against these two sworn enemy, they are wisdom, understanding, emptiness and bodhicitta. These are the two real wings by which you can soar and fly into the state of enlightenment. The others are kind of contributing factors for these two important practices. Because your main enemy is ignorance and self-cherishing.